It's that time again. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Yowie News, the show where I talk about the latest railway headlines. Let's get straight into it. Well, I hope it doesn't alarm you this one, but the D-Stocks have been confirmed for the Isle of Wight. Absolutely incredible. Not that long ago, Viva Rail announced that they are working on a brand new two-car class 484, which will replace the existing X1938 tube stock trains, known as the class 483, running on the Isle of Wight line. The class 484 runs under the same family as the class 230, which was converted from former London Underground D-Stock units. The first of the newly converted D-Train units are set for testing in 2020. Incredible stuff. I mean, the 73 stock could have been another option as a replacement, but you know what? Another D-Train should work out perfectly, because D-Stock simply rule. All I'm saying. But let's pay our respects to the 38 stock, for over 80 years of passenger service. I have no footage. Also in today's news, remember when I said this? And of course, a congratulations to the Class 442s for re-entering service on the Southwestern Main Line thanks to Southwestern Railway. Well, your fantastic piggies, known for serving the Southwest, then the Gatwick Express, then the Southwest again, have been temporarily withdrawn from service after reports of them causing signals to wrongly turn yellow or red. What? They only just started entering traffic. And this happens? Apparently they have done this sort of thing before, but I'm not too sure. The trains have been taken out for service for now, but hopefully they'll be back in service over the next few months if the issue is rectified. For now you can continue travelling on those 444s which are in desperate need of an external refurbishment. <laughs> Holy mother of Jesus! 444006 has been refurbished? <laughs> well, it took them about two years but they got there. In other news, we have approached another end of an era as the Great Northern Class 313s have finally been retired. After 43 years of service, these trains were replaced by Class 717, the Zero City units. The last set of 313s ran on the 30th of September 2019 and a farewell tour was held on the 23rd of October 2019. The only remaining units in service are the ones serving the Southern Coastway lines but even they'll be soon retiring. So let's all pay our respects to the Class 313s of Great Northern. They have really served us well. They could have done with a little refurbishment, do you think? Oh yes, quite oh, yes. yes. yes, that was 313064, which had one coach repainted into NSC livery for the farewell tour. To be honest, it should have been all the coaches. But oh well, that's good enough, isn't it? Also in sad news, with the new NNER Azumas slowly running out, it does mean the end of the road for the Class 91s and HSTs. So far, at the time of this recording, four 91s have been withdrawn, with the rest expected to be out of service by next year. The HSTs are also due to be gone by the end of this year as well. Sorry? LNER HSTs are going to East Midlands Railway? Uh, uh -huh, gotcha. Well, you heard it here first, chaps. On the other hand, though, two Class 91s have been transferred to Euro Phoenix. Here's 91117 and 91120 showing off their brand new livery, and might I say, it looks stunning. Who wants to see now a picture of the Class 701? Oh, God. No, 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 Oh no, they are really coming along aren't they? I can't believe in a few years time, my local trains will be formed of those cheap plastic things from Tesco Express. Ah, uh, oh well, better make the most of the existing fleet, the trains of my entire childhood. Also in the news, three new trains have recently entered service. Those are the Class 195 and 331 units for Northern and the Nova 3 Mark 5 sets for Transpennine Express, all by Class 68 Locos. I'm very happy to hear that the 195s are now in service because it finally means the end of those bloody bus things. They also sound like 172s. 
and the 331 sound interesting. The new Mark V coaches however look very fancy indeed, especially with the 68 as the main power supply, you just can't get enough of that thrash. And those are all the main headlines, before I leave you, I'm glad to reveal that the southern class 455s will not be replaced by class 376s, as according to a friend, they are very cheap to maintain and no one else wants them. Isn't that fantastic? Credits to scouts for that information. The new merch rail trains are currently undergoing tests abroad, so uh, rip 507 to 508. 39137 has been repainted into, oh goodness me, I'm sorry but we can't allow nudity on this bloody show, children avert your eyes immediately. And Northern could be dying, poor souls, I do like their livery though. Lastly, we're gonna go over to our train correspondent John to find out more about Crossrail. So John. How's Crosswell going? Fantastic stuff, thank you John.